So Leatherman just released Garage Number 4. They're calling Europe 75. Now in America, this lasted on the market for about 10 minutes before it was sold out of the 900 units that were allocated to here. But this is actually purchasable in many markets around the world. So I thought it'd be a really good time to talk a little bit about it, what it includes, whether you should consider it or not. Now, if you saw the spoiler images for this garage number four, you might have thought this was a remake to the Leatherman Flare. Unfortunately, that's not what we got. The Leatherman Flare was one of the greatest and most unique multi-tools that Leatherman ever made. And this is, eh, it's okay, I guess. It's weird though, that it's called the Europe 75, and yet it's not legal in the UK. It's not legal in um, Germany because it's one-handed. And uh, it's probably not legal in a lot of other European countries as well to carry. Now, to collect, of course, you know, anyone can collect it. And that's exactly what this thing is, is a collector's item. These sold out in under 10 minutes, starting at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on the 7th. And uh, that's not surprising. There's already 20 plus listings on eBay, putting these way above the $125 MSRP collector's items and there are quite a few collectors of Leatherman tools and probably not nearly enough of these to go around. So this is going to happen. Unfortunately I think it once again eats into the credibility of Leatherman and probably pick, ticks off a lot of collectors who always buy a new tool as they come out. Not exactly the people you want to you know make annoyed. I think they should start doing the garage like say um, what is it? I think it's Buck that does it where they have a model that is available for that calendar year and then after that calendar year it's no longer available so you could buy it as many as you want but after that year it's gone I, I see I think that as a limited release makes so much more sense and you could even list it at these prices they can make these wonderful profit margins all the collectors can get the get them if they want them and uh, you're good to go uh, that's what I probably would have done. If I was Leatherman, first of all, you'd make a lot more money. You'd have better credibility with the collectors. And uh, you can charge a lot of money for these things um, because they are limited edition. That's just my thoughts. I also find it interesting that this is like a worse tool set than many of the other tools that they've had in the past. Like this, this is the Leatherman Juice CS4, which has a full-size pair of pliers along with a bunch of other tools and has that corkscrew um, can opener combo, right? That lets you get the leverage. Only this is, uh, sorry, this is a can opener with a bottle opener and a corkscrew. Whereas the one that they're showing, cast steel, is not going to be a can opener. This is a very, very small area to fit all of these tools into, which is wonderful. They could have taken a free T4 and simply put these items inside it and uh, maybe even made the cutout a little bit different. And it wouldn't have taken all that much to do that. So I, I just, I, I don't know. I'm not sure what they were trying to accomplish here. So if you missed it, probably not the end of the world. I did miss it mostly because something weird happened where I couldn't find the item for about five minutes. It just had this weird image up and it wouldn't, every time I clicked it, it took me to the main website. I don't know if anyone else had that problem. Let me know down in the comments. But, uh, you know, it probably worked out for the best. $125 is a lot of money I could spend on other more interesting videos, like my 10 items under $10, which I think I'm going to be heading to Home Depot today to do another one of those. And that's way more fun for me. If you want a tool like this and you're going to Europe, check out the Victorinox Explorer. You're going to have a slightly better tool set, in fact, and it's going to be legal in both the UK and in um, Germany as well. Just something to consider. The garage is really costing them, I think. Uh, it, it just could be done in such a cooler way. Like what if instead of only 900 units, what if they made it so that it was only available for say six months or even three months and you can buy as many as you wanted for that period of time, like a pre-order, right? They would make so much more money than they are currently making. And they could actually use that as sort of a statistical understanding of interest, where they could figure out in what market this would sell best. They could also use it to make sure that the ideas that they have are actually valid. For instance, the 
Garage number three was a terrible design. It really, really was. It's likely to break under pretty much any strain because everything that was holding it together was a little screw. And all of them sold out because they're collector's items. There was like 500 units. You can't really tell when there's so few, whether that's because of the collector's value or because of interest as an actual functional component. So it's not really good for your research. That's why doing something over a limited period of time, even a month, let's say a month, I think that would have made a lot more sense. And maybe they can consider this in the future, doing a release like that, especially if they find a model that they can genuinely produce a number, a high number of them, and uh, is interesting to everyone. Like the Mr. Crunch, which they had in the first one. I think they could probably produce that, and maybe I didn't give it enough credit. Now looking at two, three, and four, it was so much better than the last three that, uh, yeah, that would be a good choice to release for a limited period of time, for instance. Anyway, that's it for talking about the Leatherman Garage. We're gonna be doing a lot more content on multi-tools in the near future, but uh, just give you an update. If you missed it, don't freak out. And if you're in another demographic that is not America, there's a good chance you might still have access to be able to get one. It was true as of yesterday afternoon. Some, dem some places like Canada and some places in Europe, they still had some of their allocations available to them. So you can check if you're still interested. Anyway, that's it for today. We'll talk again soon.